Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is my sinking from setup for 2024 and my savings challenges set up for 2024. So it's a bit of a long one, so grab a cuppa and let's get started. And if you've not been here before, feel free to click that like and subscribe button because it really helps my channel. So this binder is from Amazon, but you can get this in my Etsy shop and the envelopes are also there. But sinking funds have absolutely changed around my life. And if you've been here for a while, you know that I rely purely on my side to sling income for these. This is so it fluctuates massively, but they have actually helped me so much in the past kind of two to three years. And I even managed to save for a movie purse using sinking funds. And I'll link below to that video if you've not seen that. And I use that purse all the time it is beautiful but sinking funds themselves help me so much for kind of shorter term savings goals that are specific to specific categories which you'll see so let's get them out first of all and there are quite a few as you can see and there are a couple of new ones this year but i'll talk about why that might have changed slightly but Seems fitting that judging by the time of year that we should start with the first one. The first one is Christmas. Now, if you start saving for Christmas now, by the time it gets to Christmas next year, when you're actually thinking about buying things for Christmas, you'll be in a much better position. And actually in the works, I've got a Christmas folder, like a Christmas binder design going, where it's actually broken down into different expenses. So things like Christmas food, Christmas presents, Christmas decorations, and so that will be up in my Etsy store once I've got that finalised. But at the moment, I'm using my Christmas sinking fund envelope. And that is the one where the deadline is obvious because we all know when Christmas is. If you put a target in mind, then you know how much you need to save per month. And so it's fairly straightforward if you've got money to put in there, just as an aside. That's the first one. The second one is birthday. So this is one. These are all empty, by the way. There's nothing in any of these. Birthdays is the one that kind of gets filled and empty quite quickly and the reason for that is that if you've got a child or children who are at school they seem to get invited to birthday parties all the time and of course birthday parties require you to take a birthday present and card so and I've got two children so that's twice the amount of birthday parties that they go to and so have to find things to buy for children that I don't know most of the time however and obviously there are family birthdays, I've got friends' birthdays. Birthdays is the one where it's empty most of the time, but that's because I put money into it and then it goes straight back out on a birthday present for somebody. But it's important to have that in there, especially if you've got, like I say, for mine it's birthday presents and cards for their friends, but if you've got a big family, big network, having a birthday single friend is so important. Again, just so you're not kind of scrabbling around for money to find it when you get a birthday party invitation, that, like in a week time, which has happened to me recently not me personally but one of my boys so there's that the next one is school related expenses so this is school uniform which i know you're going to tell me that school uniform for primary school children is not expensive when you've got two of them it feels expensive especially when they grow out of stuff really quickly it's also kind of school equipment although well they do have a school bag but they don't need pencil case and things like that but they have things like school trips which they go on fairly regularly they've got different things going at school which actually they need money for surprisingly regularly and so that's for that and it's handy to have and again there's nothing in there but it's handy to have one of these that has a bit of changing because sometimes they come home and go oh mummy we need a pound for this and of course I don't always have change I don't always have a pound coin but it's handy to kind of get a stash of those and have them because it's amazing how many things they need a pound coin for. And again, because I've got two of them, that's two pound coins to find. So the school one is really helpful. The next one is self-explanatory. So this is for the school holidays every year. And what I mean by school holidays is we're currently in the Christmas school holidays at the moment. The next one will be February half term and then East holidays. And then so there's quite a lot of school holidays during the year that I need to budget for because they get really expensive really quickly. And so even if I just have a little bit to use for that, that's more helpful than nothing. The biggest ones, are obviously, the summer holidays where they're off school for ages, but also they always they want to do loads of stuff because the weather is nice. And I feel really mean when I say that I can't afford it, but sometimes I have to. But again, this sinking fund is there to help with that. The next one is car related expenses. So general wear and tear of my car, if anything needs to get fixed. 
It is not, however, car insurance. And I did debate having a car insurance envelope, but it was getting a bit ridiculous. In fact, I've got so many that the binder is getting to the point where it doesn't close quite as well as it should do. But car, I guess like, this could also include car insurance because that is, I pay mine like annually as a one-off. And although I can't predict how much it will be, some of that could go towards that. Because the next one, this is not like normal car expenses. And then this is the MOT and service that you get done every year. And again, I know kind of roughly what an MOT is and service. It just depends if things need doing to the car, but that's there for that. And again, last year I didn't have enough in this envelope to pay for the MOT and service, but it went towards it, which is helpful. You know, having anything to put towards something when you need to pay for something like an MOT and service is better than having nothing at all. Even if you've got like, I think I had £50 in this last year that I could put towards the MOT. And, you know, £50 is way more better than having nothing to put towards it. So if you think that, oh, well, I can't save the amount of money I need to save in all of these things. In some ways, that's not the point. Yes, it's great if you can, but I can't either. And so having anything in there to help at that time is better than nothing. Yes, in an ideal world, all of these would be filled to where I want them to be. And as soon as they're spent, they're replenished. But that's not the case and you know don't put pressure on yourself if you're starting sinking funds this year and i absolutely 100 percent recommend that you do don't think that you fail because you can't put enough money into them as you'd like you do not better than a lot of people if you have them in place in the first place okay money run over next one is repairs washing machine tumble dryer boiler again this did not have enough money in this last year my sinking funds i said at the start are done purely from side hustle income so Etsy income, YouTube income, blog income and that's it those things and so the less I do online the less income I get obviously and therefore the less money I have to then put in these things so some months as you'll see and if you kind of go back in my channel you can watch some months I hardly have anything and then I need to prioritize what it needs to go in repairs wasn't one that I prioritized last year but I feel like perhaps I should maybe prioritize this one slightly more seeing as I'm now responsible for everything by myself and so therefore if the washing machine breaks for example um I, <laughs> I'd be in a lot of trouble really quickly because the amount of school uniform and just clothes in general that I wash of theirs yeah so repairs might have to be one that I prioritize slightly more this year the next one is clothes so again my two boys seem to grow out of clothes all the time they also seem to grow out of them at the same time like it would be better if they could stagger that I don't know why they can't but they don't and so suddenly I have to buy loads of clothes for two different people so clothes this and this is the reason why the hoodies on there and I'm filming this in a hoodie so I'm being a bit of a hypocrite saying this but this clothes envelope is not for me if you've watched my videos before you will know I absolutely hate clothes shopping with a passion I do not like it at all the clothes shopping is purely for my children who seem to go through clothes quite a lot Plus, children's clothes are always so much nicer to look at and buy than adult clothes. Am I the only one that feels that? Anyway, that's the clothes on. The next one is medical. So this is kind of dentist. Well, it's mainly dentist and NHS prescriptions. I have a prescription and I have a, it's a recurring prescription that I need. So again, that costs and I'm grateful that it doesn't cost as much as it could do. So, but it has to be there for that. And then the next one before i turn over and show you what the next one is you'll know that for the last two years i've had a disneyland savings sinking fund envelope in this binder and i've been so adamant that it doesn't disappear well the next one in this folder is this and you will see that it has changed slightly so it no longer says disneyland for a start and it is in color rather than black and white and this is because for their christmas present this year i am taking my boys to disneyland to paris I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to afford it. I haven't even booked it yet, but I've said, I've told them that was their Christmas present to both of them. Well, and me, because I'm going to go as well. So not this is still Disneyland, but I've put Disney because this is now going to be spending money. Because I've been researching. Not, I haven't even booked the tickets or where I was staying yet, because I need to figure out what I can afford or how much I'll be able to pay for. But then I've got to figure out how I'm going to afford it. But oh my gosh, and you all know how much this means to me. I am, when I feel like, I feel like I'm getting a bit emotional, but I'm so, so excited that we're going. 
and we will get there i have to we, we're going to get there so no matter how much it takes and no matter how hard i have to work or how much extra time i have to put in or whatever else or things that i i need to miss out on in order to take them there we are going and i'm so excited for that like i say i've not actually figured out how i'm going to do it or where the money's going to come from or how but this envelope is spending money for when we're there we're only going for like three days because i i can't afford i can't really afford that and i definitely can't afford more than that but i'm so excited and their faces when they so i got their christmas present was like i'd gone on etsy and you can get like tickets made up that says you know you're going to and it said disneyland paris and they got like a rainbow one. Oh, they were so happy so excited so happy and it, like they couldn't believe it they're, they're oh i wish i kind of filmed their reaction so that i could have that in my memory forever and ever because they weren't expecting it because they know you know they know that money is tight and it's not what it used to be but also they don't they just didn't expect it at all and i kept it till last i got them cut some kind of little other things and then i gave them these they had one each in an envelope and i had not written anything on the phone and it was like a plain envelope to not give anything away oh and and that's why i'm doing all of this so all of this extra stuff all of this and yes it helps me and yes i love doing all of this but in the end it's it's all for them so disney here we come oh, i'm so excited so and then next the, the kind of the other new one is beauty so haircuts um i get i've had my hair dyed recently it's little things like that that don't really fit in anywhere else but i feel like i should have some kind of hair. i didn't want to just be hair because it might not just be hair haircuts are the obvious thing because there's three of us and they get their hair as well obviously i just felt like i needed something separate but that's not this isn't this is the back because it's not a priority there's this one and then there's the final one is mine and last year most of the time nothing ever went in this because all of the other ones are more important mine is like the bottom of the pile on purpose because it's not important but it'd be quite nice to be able to save something for me but maybe disney is for me and then everything else is just a bonus so there are my sinking funds and then this binder is available on my etsy store set up as a savings binder so it's a blue binder and you get the six savings challenges inside now i've had these again since i started making these so essentially what you get is you get six savings challenges so the first one is a one pound saving challenge so you save one pound coins essentially and it's 50 pound the next one in the set is a two pound challenge and it goes up to a hundred pound a cent in the theme these are really easy and they're there on purpose the next one is a five pound challenge so five pound notes in our case because that's what you get in the uk and that saves 250 pounds the next one is 10 pound challenge so 10 pound notes which saves 500 pound 20 pound challenge which saves a thousand pound and then you can see i've started this one actually because i have the 52 week challenge which is you save a certain number per week and it can be you can so if you end this one it saves 1378 pounds and you can do it in order so i was but actually sometimes so if you had to do 50 51 and 52 in an order in december in the most expensive month of the year it might be tricky but you can change that around but i this 52 week challenge is really popular on my etsy store because you can buy the the insert and the envelope for £2.25 and then if you do it you save 1378 and you know me if you've watched my channel before i'm a massive fan of visual representation of things which is essentially what all these savings challenges are so that is my savings challenges and then my sinking fund setup for 2024. And I'm excited to have a, a restart, a blank slate and get going properly. So have you got these set up? Do you have any sinking funds? Do you have any savings challenges? Like I said, all of these and the budget planner is available in my Etsy store if you want. I sell quite a lot of the challenges. They are really popular. You can buy them, like I say, in the binder itself. So they come ready, prepared for you to start yeah so let's make 2024 a really good year for finances and i will see you again very soon